Hey everybody, this video is called David Among Them, and tonight we're continuing our pass-through study in the book of 1 Samuel, where we're looking at the 27th chapter, where we're looking at David fleeing to the Philistines. And so chapter 27, verse 1, it says, And David said in his heart, Now I shall perish some day by the hand of Saul. There is nothing better for me than that I should speedily escape to the land of the Philistines, and Saul will despair of me, to seek me any more in any part of Israel, so I shall escape out of his hand. So, in direct contrast to Saul's word that David would prevail in the last verse of the last chapter, we see that David thought that Saul would ultimately kill him. And we see that because of that, he has anxious thinking, and we see that fear falls upon him, and it's explained in David's actions in this chapter. And God told him to stay in Judah, but we see that David's afraid and he sought protection from among the Philistine enemies of Israel back in chapter 21, verse 10 through 15. And what we must realize with the power of our heart, it has tremendous power to shape our thinking and our actions and even uh, realistically our whole destiny and before David trusted in the Lord to protect him from the hand of Saul we see that David gave up in trusting in the Lord and it's very sad and we see that Saul isn't the one who drives David out to the Philistines but David's own discouragement and despair does and so verse 2 through 4 says then David arose and went over with the 600 men who were with him to Achish, the son of Maoch, king of Gath. So David dwelt with Achish at Gath, he and his men, each man with his household, and David with his two wives, Ahinoim, the Zezreelitess, and Abigail, the Carmelitess, Nabal's widow. And it was told Saul that David had fled to Gath, so he sought him no more. So not only did David go, but we see that his 600 men went to live with him among the ungodly Philistines. And in verse 3, it adds that also all the families of those 600 men follow the pursuit. And David's two wives, Ahinoam and Abigail, were with him. And remember that Michal, back in chapter 25, verse 44, had been temporarily given over to another man by Saul. So Saul was no longer able to pursue David since he was out of the land of Israel. And there's no record of any psalm or anything that David wrote during this time. And this was not a high point in David's spiritual life. He did not write a sweet psalm unto the Lord at this time. In verse 5-7 through seven says, Then David said to Achish, if I have now found favor in your eyes, let them give me a place in some town in the country that I may dwell there. For why should your servant dwell in the royal city with you? So Achish gave him Ziglag that day. Therefore, Ziglag had belonged, has belonged to the kings of Judah to this day. Now the time that David dwelt in the country of the Philistines was one year in four months. So the royal city spoken here of is Gath. And David requested a city of his own in the country so that he could be free from the constant surveillance to which he was exposed to in Gath. And so that he could also avoid the pagan influence of that Philistine city. And Ziglag was a city that was located 13 miles northwest of Beersheba that had been in Israelite possession as seen back in Joshua chapter 15 31 and Joshua chapter 15 verse 9 but then it was under Philistine control and Ziglag became part of Judah and was still so at the time of this writing in Samuel which was clearly in the post Solomonic divided kingdom era and for 16 months, David was able to deceive Achish concerning his actions. And we, he, we see that he remains there until after Saul's death when he moved to Hebron, as we'll take a look at when we move into our 
next book of study, Lord willing, in 2 Samuel 1 and 2. And verse 8 and 9 says, And David and his men went up and raided the Geshurites, the Gerizites, and the Amalekites. For those nations who were inhabitants of the land from of old, as you go to Shur, even as far as the land of Egypt, whenever David attacked the land, he left neither man nor woman alive, but took away the sheep, the oxen, and the donkeys, the camels, and the apparel. And he returned and came to Achish. So the Geshurites and the Gerizites and the Amalekites, they lived in southern Canaan and northern Sinai. And David left no survivors from his raids in order that Achish might not learn the true nature of his desert exploits, who would have thought of David off this matter as a man after God's own heart. And even though he attacked the enemies of Israel, he committed robbery and murder as he did so without God's guidance or approval. And now we see fought wars for profit rather than for God's honor. So we see that David is at a very low point in his spiritual life here. In verse uh, 10 through 12 says, Then Achish would say, Where have you made a raid today? And David would say, Against the southern area of Judah, or against the southern area of Jeramelites, or against the southern area of the Kenites. David would save another man, nor woman alive, to bring news to Gath, saying, Lest they should inform on us, saying, Thus David did, and thus was his behavior all the time. He dwelt in the country of the Philistines. So Achish believed, David saying, He has made his people Israel utterly abhor him. Therefore, he will be my servant forever. And so the regions of the south of the hill country centering around Beersheba was Judah, Jeremelites, and Kenites. And this region was far enough away from Gath so that Achish would be ignorant of David's movements. And David implied to Achish that the hostility of Judah toward David was increasing, while in fact that he was gaining the appreciation and the loyalty of Judah toward him by raiding their wilderness neighbors. And Achish thought that David was more securely his servant as his own people turned against him. But it was just the opposite was true. And so we see that David lied to gain favor with Achish. And many think of David killing Uriah to cover his sin and often forget not the sin of today's chapter. And he killed these men and these women in these raids to cover his sin as well. And it was as if Achish was a spider and that David was the prey where he was trapped into Achish web. And so to wrap up today's chapter, we're keeping this short. This is a quick pass through as we prepare for chapter 28 next week on Halloween. But today we looked at David's discouraged decision. And we should note that there were two things that gave up thoughts to do stupid things. And they are discouragement and despair. And we saw that David goes over to Achish, who is the leader of Gath. And we saw that David received the city of Ziglag. And we saw that David showed himself to be a bandit that was on the move. You know, David wasn't showing a man after God's own heart at this chapter. He's showing himself off as a thug or a bandit. And we see that he lied to Achish in the darkness of the situation that he got himself into. And that's going to wrap up this video today, like I said. And we're going to take a look at a very uh, common passage that you can do a topical message for Halloween on. But it's our very next chapter where we're going to look at Saul seeking a medium. So I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. We'll see you Monday. God bless.